The increase in the budget um, this year represents a 2.88% of the tax rate increase and 2.94% may not be raised by taxes. Um, a lot of the, the increases are mandated, basically increases in liability insurance and workers' compensation insurance. Um, there were some small increases in salaries, as well as a, um, you'll see a contingent line that's no longer being budgeted for 2011. Um, in the equipment lines, things like personal protective equipment, thermal imaging cameras, radios, pagers, hose testing, all of those items are grouped under the equipment category and um, the fire commissioners have held the line on increases in that line item down to less than a percent. Under the operating expense line, um, you have things like dues, legal, auditing, um, the fire district secretary, fuel, firehouse supplies, um, cell phones, maintenance to trucks, any general operating expenses that you need to run the firehouses. Um, and that's inclusive of all the, the firehouses in, in the town of Goshen. Um, we held the line on that as well under 1%. The building repair line is in relationship to um, any building repairs of all three houses, things including like um, HVAC, the key fog system, surveillance cameras, painting, any door repairs, any general repairs of the buildings. Uh, maintenance contracts include things like the generators, the ready test control, the elevators, things of that nature. Um, the utilities are, are um, basically above the line of utilities, cost of utilities. Uh, we also have snow removal, lawn care, and we have a custodian for only this firehouse in relationship to the public events that take place here. People make uh, a contribution to pay, pay for that custodial repair, so we have that money coming back in. Um, on the apparatus repair, we've helped, helped the line at no percentage increase. On the service award program, we continue to keep that contribution the same annually. We're currently uh, approximately three quarters funded in the service award program. Um, based on our actuarial assumption of all the current data that's refreshed every year for that assumption. Um, workers' compensation insurance has been a large increase in compensation. I think that's across the board, not only for fire districts, but in general in the insurance um, environment. And the debt payment principle will go out to 2020. Um, those are just part of the uh, amortization schedule that we uh, incurred when we built the firehouses, the Dyckman Firehouse and the Cataract Firehouse. The transfer to capital funds was increased by $100,000 this year. That increase was mainly for a planned purchase of a new ladder truck in the 2013 year. If we continue to transfer that, um, of the $530,000, $400,000 will go towards the equipment fund. If we continue to transfer that for the next two years, we'll be able to purchase that truck cash. We won't have to issue any more debt for that. So that's the goal. Um, most of our equipment is on a 15 to 20 year replacement plan. And the goal is, in the past we had issued some debt for trucks, the goal now is to not have to issue that debt. Um, and then basically overall you can see uh, the facts and figures there. And if anybody has any questions about anything specific, I'd be happy to call the person. Which is currently in that fund. In the equipment fund? I have it. No, not the equipment fund. Can you state your name, please? The uh, total transfer capital funds. You want to state your name? Well, Eric Wild. Okay, the transfer, we're currently in the equipment fund, we have $706,000. So you're taking 530 this year? Well, no. I'm talking specifically about the equipment fund. So the equipment fund is $700,000, and we're adding $400,000 for 2011 and 2012, and then we're purchasing the truck in 2013. Okay, so what is the balance of the fund is used for? Well, the $700,000 plus the two $400,000 contributions is going to get us to about a million yep, more. No, no, the balance. The balance will stay in that fund. So, the, 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 so you'll have, after you purchase the vehicle, there'll still be a overlap of, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully yes. Yeah. You're going to be way over, right? Well, no, the no, ladder truck is about one, 1.2. 1 1.2. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so there may be some, some overages, but they, they, if they go to the capital fund, they have their mandated for use for capital. And, and then your next... Plan vehicle replacement is correct. Is is banker ninety four? Which would probably be five five hundred thousand. Yeah, we haven't got out two years after that. Well, so I'll I'll get, it, yeah. get rid of it because it's probably overdue now. Okay. So at that point, the budget will be modified. You go back on that to get the ladder. But there's no major vehicle after the ladder. That is the largest. 
Well, eventually, down the road, yes. Well, down the road, five years from now. Right, there might be another truck come up or another tanker.